After a thrilling win in Game 2, the Cyclones are back here in Toledo for tonight's Game 3 of the Central Division Final of the 2019 Kelly Cup Playoffs presented league-wide by Smile Direct Club. Hello again, everyone. Everett Fitzhugh back here for Cyclones TV. This is your Game 3 preview. The Cyclones are looking to take a 2-1 series lead in this Central Division Final. Assistant coach Jason Payne, along with forward Brady Vale and defenseman Arvin Atwal, breaks down what has to happen tonight for the Clones to get that done. I think game two, uh, we, we got some some fortunate bounces for ourselves, you know, uh, capitalizing on special teams. It's definitely a game of special teams. Um, you know, for us, I think it's more of the shot mentality. And, you know, a lot of guys want to shoot. They shoot to score. But this is playoffs. You're not going to get those quality opportunities that you did get in regular season. So, you know, we've got to have that mentality of, you know, shoot to create more than shoot to score. When you shoot to create, you're going to get those scoring opportunities, those chances, especially with the guys that we have, with the skill that we have. Uh, you know, get get penetrate the, the defense, get behind them, get pucks to the net, and then be able to get those opportunities to yeah, score. We Obviously, game two wasn't our best game. I thought, if anything, we played better in game one, just didn't get the result we wanted. But, you know, we've been playing hard. We just got to get to the hard areas a little bit more. Um, you know, get some traffic in front of their goalie. He's good on the first shot, and we know that. Everyone knows that. But as long as we're getting there and getting shots there, that's going to be our uh, our difference maker, I think. We've had ups and downs with our power play all year, and uh, you know, for us to heat up at this point of the year, you know, is great for us. And uh, you know, power plays go hot and cold, though. So right now, as long as we're you know we're riding this wave right now, we just got to keep uh, getting stuff to the net. And uh, you know, obviously, Prowlers had the hot stick, so that helps. I thought the effort was there. You know, I think it's there every day. Obviously, for us, I thought our execution wasn't where we wanted it to be, and. You know, just the blue lines, managing the puck, we had too many turnovers. So I think that's going to be the difference, just managing the time, especially in their building, get the pucks in deep and using our legs early and then being able to make plays as the game open up, opens up for us. You know, just a matter of just, just work ethic. It's all about playoffs, work ethic. You know, how, how much are you willing to pay in, in, in price of work ethic? You know, each team, who, who wants to work the hardest? You know, we've, we've had success early in the season because we worked, I worked a lot of teams, worked really hard, and, you know, teams weren't able to, you know, pay that price and keep up with us you know now playoff time comes and the price of everything goes up so you know we have to up our price as well you know how hard are we willing to work are we going to work twice as hard now this playoffs which you have to and you know every team's going to bring their best and you know we have to do the same so that's just a minute pretty much the message that we have sent to all our guys yeah, i mean this is their best lineup we haven't seen this lineup all year uh we knew they were going to come with a lot um but, you know, we, we're playing two in their building coming up. And as long as we play hard, you know, we remember we were the top team this year. So as long as uh, we play with some confidence and uh, play the right way, we're going we're gonna to be fine. I think they have a lot of skill, kind of like us, lineup-wise. They definitely make plays if you give them ice time. So I think that's when, you know, our forwards get there in a the forward check and for D, we have to get, get up and have close gaps because if you give them time and space, you know, they'll find the seams, they'll find the tape tape passes, they won't just get rid of the puck. So they're definitely a good team like that. So I think definitely putting pressure on them all the time is definitely going to be huge for us. Tonight's game three is a 735 face off here in downtown Toledo and you can catch all the action at our watch party at Wooden Cast Brewing over in Newport. Don't forget the Cyclones are back on home ice on Saturday for game five. It is a dollar hot dog night featuring John Morrell hot dogs all night long and the first 7,000 fans through the door will take home a Cyclones playoff t-shirt. For tickets and more info, call 513-421-7825 or you can visit us online at CyclonesHockey.com. For Cyclones TV, I'm Everett Fitzhugh.